morning. Feeding cattle to shift them out of the road so Glenn, who has his sheep here, can get them up and out the gate, which has to go past the cattle. Thankfully, the cattle actually aren't up in this corner this morning. So the sheep are on that side of the fence, cattle are on this side, but the sheep are going to come through a gate at the bottom, away up the hill and out this gate. So I just need to keep the cattle out of the road. The drone is very handy for getting across the fields and checking where the cattle are. So right now they're over there in the distance. We'll swing back round and we'll go and watch these sheep coming in. I love watching sheep from above. Although I hate them from the ground, I do enjoy them from above. the corner and there's a pen just under that big tree there. The way the dogs work is amazing. I'm hoping they don't end up in my garden. Thankfully it just worked out perfectly because the cattle were all away on the other side of the field. Laurie's on the way to pick them up and there'll be no sheep on the farm. When they stay within the fences, they're not awful, they're not that bad. We're back on the sprayer, we've got barley to spray off so that in a week and a half, two weeks, we can crack the combine out and get harvest underway. Happy days, coming in hot. I was just away to start filling the sprayer up, I'll crack on with it, but it's quite windy. So, especially when I'm spraying glyphosate, um, we're gonna hang fire, we're gonna do it first thing tomorrow morning because I think it's gonna be dry enough and it's not gonna be windy. Mm, should I? Should I? Uh, do a kill off the neighbour's field. Nah, I better not. I'm gonna fill it all with water. Uh, well, not full, I'll probably put 2,500 litres in and that'll leave me with another um, 700 litres to put in and then I can mix the chemical in tomorrow morning. So it's not sitting overnight with chemical in it. It's too windy. Too windy, flipping it. There goes the water level. I'm just out in the sunflowers here, recutting the path. I need to come on this every every week or so and keep on top of it. But it's amazing. These sunflowers, I basically went and ran them over the lawnmower because they were quite big. The lawnmower actually didn't really chew them up, it just flattened them. But then they've just turned the corner and regrown up the way. Amazing. That would have been lying flat three days ago. Baxter, come on, out the road. These are. These would have been lying flat three days ago and the sunlight has just drawn them. They draw themselves to the sunlight and they've just turned and pointed up the way. Incredible. Incredible things, eh boy? And that is why I need to come out here once a week with a mower and go over it all again because they just turn a corner and really grow up the way. Hey boy, some lump. Baxter's panicking. I know, there he goes. Good boy, got it. I just scooped up a stone with a mower and it went bang, 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 bang. And I've done the shear pins on it. Both of them. Uh, it's flipping heck. And I'm writing that out in the middle of the field. I can't just cut to the edge. I need to go round the whole path to get out. Damn it. Hey, Doug. Damn it. All the way back now. You can see there's a few weedy bits. We're actually gonna top this corner out just cause it's full of weeds. There's no path that goes through any of this. So we'll just basically square off the field and get rid of that. What once was a lean to is now a pile of scrap. And it's gone. Cut some flowers for the morning and half the yard's gone. Oh, oh! There's a sheared pin. Yeah. 
These are the new pins. How much did you say they were, Dad? Four quid each. Four quid each. That's 16 quid after hitting a stone. Right, that's the mower back in action. Four new shear pins. Four pound a pop. Anyway, it's moving again at least. I am losing the mower for now. Dad's got grass to go and cut and we're out of those pins and it's Saturday today so he doesn't want him to go and hit loads of stones and break more pins because then the mower will be out of action. He was away last week so all the grass around the shop which he usually cuts is all even caught up on. Doesn't trust me in stones. We're back in action. Should be another 20 minutes out here and I'll be done. Maybe half an hour. finally made it to where the stone was so i'm right out in the middle so to get back out the field's going to take me not quite half an hour 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and there's rain coming so i better get moving right home time take this back to yard two and then i'll get filled up first thing in the morning and then i can head to yard three where i have some barley to spray off we'll go and see an update on how the shed progress is coming along with it coming down here comes the rain Hopefully just a wee shower so that I can spray fine in the morning. The gates are not wide enough. I just about made it through. So much for a light sprinkle of rain. It's soaking. So day two, they've worked their way into here. They've taken out basically two pitches of the four pitches which lie here. Actually, there's one more pitch there. So there's five pitches in total and then there's separate bins down the back. But they've wiped out a fair bit here. Um, the wood's all getting sieved out. It's going to weigh down to get burnt. The scraps all getting separated off. And that's all there is to it. Because if you look at it, yeah, there's the odd bit of slate here and there. But it's just timber and steel. And there's obviously cinder blocks and whatnot kicking about. And a bit of concrete here and there. That's all just getting heaped up in a pile. That'll go into the bottom of the next, the next shed that goes up. What used to be here, if you don't remember, basically the exact same as that. One, two, three, four pillars which started here. So there was a concrete plinth there with a pillar on top and there was another three of them. So that held up the bottom of this pitch. So it'll go like that and that and this line of pillars held up the beam that ran across there. There is power cables here, there and everywhere for lights and all that, but all the power got cut off to this yard. Three, four days ago, the sparky came in, cut all that off. So none of them are live. Tomorrow it'll just be more of the same, I think, clearing out the rest of this wood. I don't know whether they're going to tackle the rest of those two pitches tomorrow or not, or just work away and completely finish this area. Hey, Pooch. It's all rapidly changing. It's going to take a few days to wipe down. Um, I don't know how long it would have taken the whole place to get built back in the day. A lot longer than a few days. Assuming that comes down tomorrow, I'll just do a few snap the fingers and it'll disappear. Happy days, I just wish it would stop raining so we can get some spraying done in the morning. Anyway, cheers for watching. See you tomorrow. Just had a phone call. Fence on the way. Freddy, Emily, are you excited for the tractor? Yeah! Here it comes, perfect timing, it's howling in the rain. Tractor. Yeah, it is, it's coming. Tractor. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, yeah, belter. Cheese. Oh, yeah, beauty. We have a fence, finally. Right, go on then, put it down below. Out of 10, do you like the look of the fence? I do. Or do you prefer that? It looks that Doug's nuts. Happy with it. We'll see how we go on for the next few years with it. Bit of a change from what we're used to. Time will tell whether it was worth it. Look at that, delivered with two bars of diesel. Either this is gay lady's office or I'm, to, I'm into women's magazines. Um, that was a year ago the Fent arrived. Nice and shiny. What's the verdict after having it a year for 12, 1300 hours? Pff, it's a brilliant machine to be fair. Absolutely lovely. We've had a couple of wee issues um, where there was two couplers on the back that needed replaced and a coolant sensor. Other than that, no bother at all, which is better than the previous two tractors within the first thousand hours. They 
One was in quite a few times to get a radiator. I think I had two radiators or three radiators one of the tractors has had. And the other one was in for some other issues. But hopefully that continues, touch wood. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Come up to see me.